Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech here at NAB 2024, here in the vMix booth with Heath. Now Heath, you guys have just recently with the latest version come in with a Zoom integration. Yes. Which I think for people who are kind of like, it's difficult to get remote guests to do something else. Yes. But they're all familiar with Zoom. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's one of the great reasons why we implemented Zoom because vMix Call, which is built into vMix already, is foreign to people. So they go, oh, I'm not sure what to do with that. So yes, we brought Zoom in for that reason and because Zoom created an SDK that we were able to use to leverage Zoom within vMix. Um, So I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, all right. So if you have a look here, I've actually already prepared a Zoom input. And by that, I mean, I've joined into a pre-existing Zoom meeting that's running And you can see that it's running from my phone. I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. So the Zoom meeting is already happening on my phone down there on the desk. And this is the input, and this is how you use it in vMix. So you right click on the input, and you go to Zoom Manager. Oh, it's timed out. (laughs) That's okay. It it doesn't matter that it's timed out. Um, What matters is I'll show you how this works. So in the Zoom Manager up here, you get access to all of the meeting details as well as the live chat of the meeting. Okay. You've also got all of your participants in the meeting. So the only one there at the moment is this Veil Feeds, which is my phone. Okay. And you would have access to all of the other participants right here. You'd right click on them and you'd add them as a new input. So they'd appear as a second input and a third and a fourth and a fifth and a 200th if you really, (laughs) really wanted to. Um, Be mindful though that as you do that, you're gonna lose quality. So the resolution is gonna start coming down after about five really high quality sources if you've got a premium Zoom account, the like highest Zoom account. So it's it's really a Zoom limitation. The quality is the quality is dictated by your Zoom account and your internet connection. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So all right, so from here, yes, you can add it as a new input or you can add it to an existing input. And um, that really is as simple as it gets. So you'd be adding in a camera, just like say this one here, and you'd be putting it into a shot with your other Zoom participants and making a fully like integrated layered shot that looks just the way you want rather than the way that Zoom lays it out. Now here's a question I I, I know is often the second question. Yeah. Can I have Zoom auto switch whoever's talking to appear in that input? Yes. Yeah, oh, not in that input. No, no, you need to have all of the people that you expect to be talking. Okay. They need to be as inputs and you can switch which one is presented. Right. Yes. But it's not like Zoom has the follow speaker. It it does follow the active speaker, but the active speaker needs to be one of your inputs. So you need to have added them as one of those many, many inputs of Zoom people. Okay. So typically in a Zoom meeting, you might have 200 people there but only four of them are gonna be talking. Right, right? And everyone else is just observing. Right, right. So you would set up those four inputs, knowing full well that they're the ones that are gonna be the active speakers. Okay. And it'll switch between those for you. It's a special function that can be used as a trigger. Okay. So the way vMix works is you can automate your production with triggers. So for this Zoom input, we can go to the settings. We can go to triggers. And we've got some new triggers, which are on Zoom active speaker. So if this input becomes the active speaker, if this is the one, you know, Uh then do a thing. Maybe cut to the, cut it to the output. Oh, okay. Or maybe, or maybe, uh, or maybe move it to the largest layer of a shot. Like, um, right, right, right. So where you've got a series of layers, Uh and one of them is the large one for the active speaker. Right. Move it to there. That sort of thing. Okay, okay. So you can then sort of automate what Zoom would do within, within, the, envi- VMix. within yes. the environment you create in vMix. Correct. And so that way, yep. you can have four different presenters all hand stuff off, and you're just there going... Yep, your hands are not touching the production at all. Yeah. And I, I think that's what's really going to make things a lot easier in that Zoom has its look. Yes. But you can make that so much better. You can so make it look better. any way you like. Yeah. And then at yep. the same time... You can add your own logos, add your own color scheme, gradients, you name it. Yeah. Right. And then you have the control of the final production 
but you don't have to sit there and micromanage what Zoom is Correct. doing. Correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I right. thank you very much for the information. Yep. Thanks for coming by. So this is a great way that you can integrate Zoom, make Zoom look better for your, for your customers and for yourself. My name is Anthony Brokus here at NAB 2024 for Stream Tech. Thanks for watching.